Picture this, you unlock your Galaxy and instantly feel like it's a brand new phone. Not because you bought one, but because the software itself just leveled up. That's exactly what's happening right now with Samsung's One UI 8, and trust me, this update is way more than just a fresh coat of paint. There are hidden tweaks, polished designs, and subtle changes that quietly transform the way your phone feels in your hand. And the best part, some of these features are things you didn't even know you wanted until you see them in action. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your tech buddies, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates. I promise you, we've got a lot to unpack today. So, let's dive right in. The lock screen has become the ultimate playground in One UI 8. If you thought Samsung was done experimenting after One UI 7, think again. Widgets aren't just sitting pretty anymore, they're slightly larger, more accessible, and more dynamic. And when you tap into clock styles, something surprising shows up, an adaptive clock that literally shifts its size and orientation depending on your wallpaper's subject. Imagine your clock bending around a mountain or resizing itself when a person's face is in the background. It's alive, it's fluid, and honestly, it makes Apple's depth effect look like child's play. But that's just the beginning. The No Bar, which made its debut in One UI 7, has been turbocharged. Not only can you peek at your do not disturb or ongoing calls, but you can actually interact with active modes directly from the lock screen. Two more activities, just a tap away. And while Samsung hasn't gone full third-party integration yet, no Uber rides or food delivery statuses popping up here, it feels like that's exactly where they're headed. If customization is your thing, One UI 8 might just become your new favorite toy. The new wallpapers aren't just colorful, they're reactive. Gradient effects, shifting hues, and multiple variations give your lock and home screens a personality of their own. And here's the kicker. You can achieve all of this even without good lock installed. Samsung is clearly making sure every Galaxy user gets a taste of premium personalization. Multitasking also got a serious glow up. Split screen isn't just splitting anymore, it's bending to your will. You can expand one app to nearly full screen while keeping the second alive in a slim strip at the edge. This means you can binge a YouTube video almost full screen while keeping your chat thread open, ready for replies. It's small, but game changing. Now, here's something you'll notice the moment you check the weather app. Gone are the cartoonish designs we've been tolerating for years. Instead, you get a realistic, almost cinematic vibe, a translucent background, smoother animations, and yes, even a human figure that reacts to the weather. It feels modern, polished, and honestly, like the app finally caught up with 2025. And it doesn't stop there. Samsung has sprinkled this translucent card design across the system. Your app drawer's search now feels smarter, showing eight suggested apps instead of four. The Files app. It finally matches the design language of the rest of the system. Everything just feels more connected, more Samsung. Let's talk about Quick Share, because this update quietly flips the script. Instead of a clunky little pop-up, it now opens as a full screen interface with separate send and receive tabs. It's clean, it's organized, and honestly, it makes you wonder why it wasn't always this way. File sharing has never felt this seamless. Animations in One UI 8 tell a different story. Unlike the giant leap we saw in One UI 7, this is more about refinement. Parallel animations have been smoothed out further, transitions feel softer, and the overall vibe is just more polished. It's not flashy, but when you've used Galaxy phones since the One UI 4 and 5 era, you can't help but notice how ridiculously smooth things have become. But here's where it gets really interesting, Samsung didn't just stop at design polish. They went deeper into apps you probably use daily. The camera app now has a hidden trick swipe up, and you get instant access to frame rates and quick settings without diving deep into menace. The calculator. The scientific mode now expands, 